peppers. This baby is very low in cholesterol and sodium. It is also a very good source for vitamins. So we're going to spice it up today and mix some stuffed peppers. To make this, the first thing you have to do is hand chop some ground chicken and pork. It really makes a difference. So I'm going to use some oyster sauce to marinate the meat. Also, I'm going to add some soy sauce. A little bit of sugar. And a dash of fish sauce. You don't have to add this if you don't like it. And a little bit of the chicken powder. And some oil. All the ingredients will be listed in the bottom bar. Add a little bit of cornstarch. And just kind of massage the meat to mix everything incorporated. Let's kind of give the meat a little bit of a massage. You can tell when everything is nicely incorporated and let it marinate for about an hour in the fridge. So after the meat is marinated, or you can do it when the meat is marinating, um, prepare some of the green peppers. Each pepper should be cut into four wedges, and then we're going to stuff it with meat later. And after everything's prepped, just kind of use a spoon and spoon the meat inside the pepper, and try to give a little pressure so meat stays in the pepper wedges. Peppers are really good diet foods, actually. They're very low in calories, so it's good for our ladies that want to lose some pounds. Like me, that's why we're making this dish right now. <laughs> As shown right here, just kind of like scoop the meat inside the pepper. I actually really like this dish. It tastes good. It makes pepper taste a lot better because the meat juice and the peppers kind of goes really well together and then the mixed pepper less bland so after all the peppers are stuffed it should look like this and we're gonna put some cornstarch on top of each pepper to make everything kind of stick together And heat up some oil on a pan. You want to make sure that the oil is really hot. And just put the meat side on the pan. You want to be careful, the oil might splatter. Each side takes about three minutes until everything browns up and the flavors are all coming out. are cooking let's make the sauce for it uh, so we're gonna need a little bit of cornstarch a 
little bit of sugar, and a little bit of chicken powder. And some water, of course. Soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. This sauce will help thickening everything together and making as like a sauce for the peppers. And just kind of stir it up, and here you go. That's the sauce. Little did you know, after you're done with the sauce, the peppers are done on the meat side, and you want to flip it. It should be golden brown like this. After you're done flipping the peppers, add a little bit of soy sauce to the pan to give everything some flavor and a little bit of um, water so it's like a steaming and cooking process and put the lid on for the meat to cook fully. And this process takes about 5 minutes. For the meat to be fully cooked and five minutes after it should be bubbling like this and just add a little bit of cilantro and green onion I like cilantro and green onion to everything just make things fresher and remember the sauce we have prepared at first now we're gonna use it just kind of gently Pour the sauce on top of the peppers and just kind of move it around to cook, let the starch cook. And after the starch is all fully cooked, then you're ready for plating. Just put the, pl the peppers on the plate. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get it out, but you can use a spatula or After all the peppers are, plate, are plated, just pour the sauce over and you're ready for dinner. This is a healthy meal and plus delicious. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.